There are, of course, ideas, things such as supersymmetry, ideas such as M-theory. You may have read about these, heard these words bandied around. Some of them also cause problems. For example, M-theory prescribes that they're extra dimensions rather than the three we need to pin something in space and the time to pin the occurrence of that thing in the history of space. Um, they also require, perhaps, that there are other dimensions. So, for example, M-theory suggests there are extra dimensions in space. And these sort of six or seven extra dimensions are coiled up tightly within subatomic timescales. Talk about inaccessible regions of the universe. How do we ever tell that they're there? Well, there are possibilities if these things are right. Maybe gravity is the weakest force of the four because it's the one force that leaks out into, the, into these extra dimensions. And so you have the possibility of testing unification theories if we could ever test gravity on these minute scales. You know, does the gravitational inverse square law break down on sort of millimeter or less scales? These, again, just show you some of the possibilities, some of the questions that people are actively grappling with. And of course, once you start getting this idea of unification, we have a framework that maybe allows us to deal with you know, powerful gravitational forces on a quantum scale. Then we can start asking the, or answering those really fundamental questions like, what triggered the Big Bang? There are ideas, say, if you talk about M-theory, you have two multidimensional universes colliding, causing some outbursts in a subset of those dimensions. You, you can go and read all these wonderful books that explore these ideas, but they are still quite speculative. These are still regions that are hidden from us from theory and from observations.